Who doesn't love a good remix? And then when you combine a good remix with the Chainsmokers, what else could you ask for? I'm a big Chainsmokers fan. This is their remix of Meet Me At Our Spot from their TikTok tailgate. That's a mouthful. Sally sells she shells at the TikTok tailgate from the Super Bowl. As a reminder, before we get into this, I'm giving away $1,000 on Instagram. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram by March 15th. If you follow me, you can be entered into the win- the running to win uh, up to $1,000. So see we got this chain. Do a little cover. If you know these words, sing it with us. Come on. Ah, uh, they're so good, man. I'm a big fan of the music. Yeah, that electric guitar single note. Dude, his voice sounds so good. Wow. I mean, from progress, because I've seen some videos where it wasn't, so the progress is phenomenal. Processing on the vocals, though. The mix is crazy. It sounds like there's some sort of auditude on the vocals. I'm a big fan of his, the music. I'm not. This is not a knock. I'm just. This is a commentary. I, I like comment, commentating on it. If it's not, then I'm it, I'm highly impressed. If there is, it kind of just has that tone to it, but it kind of has that Post Malone kind of vibe where it's like this kind of like, not necessarily like, look, the only way autotune works is if the singer actually can some, sing, you know, otherwise it's just going to sound ridiculous because it's going to be trying to catch the notes, you know, if, so what it does is it, the way autotune works and, and pitch correction in general works um, is like, say, say you have these bricks of like a staircase of notes, right? Um, what it'll do is it will, if your note is here and it's supposed to be here, it'll bring it up. But if the note is supposed to be here and it's all the way down here, it doesn't know where to put it. So then it just starts fluttering and going all over the place. So like you have to be relatively close, otherwise it's just gonna sound completely ridiculous. So that that is a testament to quality of voice as well. Harmony is sick. I like the vocal processing though. Whether or not it's like true live vocals is not the point. I think it sounds sick though. It's a really cool effect. I gotta... Maybe are you coming for the, ride? the way they change up the, the mix, man, with the top on the. How many people do you think that is? I'm curious. Do you have any idea? Dude, all the synths they had is great. Are they? Hold on. Okay, I was like, are they even plugged in? They are. They're plugged in. Oh, this is cool. There's a little tip right here. You see the tape that's on the drum? That's to dampen it so that you it, it uh, changes the timbre of the drum. If I'm correct, I believe it. It helps it, it prevents it from ringing out too long, if I'm correct. I'm not entirely sure, but it, it, I think it's for dampening. I've seen drummers do it all the time. I'm almost positive it's for dampening to help prevent it just from ringing out. You can, ch- you can control the, 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 the release, technically, what it's called. So the harmony is sick, honestly. Big piano sound. Very far panning on that hi hat. You hear that in the left ear? Comfortability on, on stage is good though, too. Really good. Dude, that okay. I guess it just ends right there. That was sick, man. I really like that. That I mean, I, I was reading some of the comments before I filmed this video, and like there was ten thousand comments just saying, "Oh, we need a Spotify version of this." That's the biggest compliment anybody could say is like, "We want to spot list this on our own time and Spotify and stuff." 
biggest compliment out there. I really like that track. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. As a reminder, ten th- a one thousand dollar giveaway if we hit ten thousand followers on Instagram. All you have to do is follow me on uh, on Instagram by March fifteenth. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.